Imagine living somewhere that on a daily basis gives you the chills. Waking up knowing that it's not just the residents that inhabit the town, but something or a group of someone else's that are unseen. Things that haunt the town and you. Here are 10 creepy cursed towns that will scare you. Number 10 is Jefferson, Texas. Jefferson, Texas was once a bustling river port where wealthy business people invested throughout the 1800s. It's now a quiet place, never quite reaching its potential. Many believe that the reason for this is because a curse was placed on the town. In 1872, a railroad tycoon called Jay Gould planned on laying a railway line through the heart of the town. Because the town refused to let that happen, Gould was outraged at the amount of money he would lose. It's therefore said that he laid a curse on the town. Just one year later, the water levels dropped. The port began to dry up and could no longer play host to the ships and boats which had brought trade and prosperity to the town. Jay Gould's curse did not wipe the town off the map, but it did plunge the town into a dark and long decline, causing pain and heartbreak for its people. Number 9 is Bath, Carolina. Like Jefferson, Bath was once an important economic port, but that too all changed. The town sat at the mouth of the Pamlico River, and while Bath thrived on legitimate business, it also profited off the pirates and smugglers who inhabited the nearby waters. To counter this sinister side, a preacher called George Whitefield came to the town to preach and save its residents from damnation. Whitefield was known for dragging a coffin behind him wherever he went to show that he was ready to face death for the pursuit of religion. However, when threatened with just that by the people of Bath, he ran away, cursing the town for 100 years. Not long after, Bath's prosperity faltered and it became a backwater of poverty. Whitefield loved to remind people how quickly his curse had come to fruition. Number 8 is the Yarumal. Not all curses are supernatural. Some are scientifically verified and just as horrifying, if not more so. The town of Yarumal in Colombia has a terrible burden to carry. Out of its 5,000 residents, 50% will develop early onset Alzheimer's disease. This merciless illness robs people of their memories and ability to function over time and to even remember who they are. Now this usually happens at an old age, but due to a strange genetic mutation which occurred three centuries ago, the townsfolk developed the disease at a much younger age. The mutation is called E280A and occurs on the 14th chromosome of DNA. This literal curse on the people of Yarimal is a terrible stroke of bad luck. However, some believe the townsfolk may be the key to unlocking how to prevent the disease for good. Number 7 is Old Town Spring. In northwest Houston, just along Spring Creek, there sits Old Town Spring. Some believe this town is so cursed that it's the ghost capital of the entire state of Texas. The town has been beset by demonic creatures and spectral apparitions since at least the 1700s. Strange noises can be heard, objects move by themselves, and some say that a shadow of death falls on those nearby. These phenomena can be traced all the way back to a cannibal tribe known as the Akokisa. When white settlers pushed them out of their territory, they cursed the land itself and all who dwelled in it. It's said that the residents at the time began to experience paranormal phenomena from that moment on, and explains why the echoes of the horrific events still haunt those who visit to this day. Number six is Trasmaz. In Spain, there's a town that has been excommunicated by the Pope himself. It's also been cursed with a spell, one which only the Catholic Church has the power to lift. The town is called Trasmaz. Its history goes back many centuries, with a 12th century castle still standing. The curse is a punishment for powerful sorcerers practicing witchcraft within the castle walls. The town's reputation for witchcraft became so strong that it became a haven for those practicing 
the dark arts. After an armed conflict with the residents in the 15th century, Pope Julius II cursed the town and its inhabitants. After that, the castle burned down and the population fell from 10,000 to just 62. However, some still live there to this day in the shell of that old town, though stories of evil spirits and powerful witchcraft ceremonies still blight its reputation. Number five is Buncrana. Buncrana is a small seaside town on the coast of Ireland. So much tragedy has visited the people living there that local newspapers reported that the entire town was cursed. In 2016, a car carrying five people from two families drove into the sea by accident, with all dying except for a young baby. When this tragedy occurred, residents began to speak of a curse which seemed to be affecting the town. However, this wasn't the first random tragedy. Several other road deaths led some to suspect that a dark cloud hangs over Buncrana and those living there. Some have even openly spoken in the media of the town being cursed without giving any other details about where this curse comes from. Whether you really believe that the curse is real or not on this town, the people of Buncrana have seen enough tragedy for several lifetimes. Number four is Dryden. In December of 1989, the small New York state town of Dryden fell victim to a traumatic event. Many of its 14,000 residents believed from that moment on that the curse of Dryden was real. An entire family was found murdered in their burning home. In the next 10 years, a two-year-old girl vanished Several other murders took place, then there was the event of suicide and accidental deaths to add to the growing number of bizarre goings on. While many of these events were completely unconnected, the fact that they happened all in such a small town made some in the community believe that their home was cursed. As of today, the residents are waiting for the next event, as if evil is hibernating, waiting to rain tragedy down on the town of Dryden once more. Number three is Carlisle. Carlisle is the county town of Cumbria in England, and it has suffered a terrible curse. The curse began around the year 2000, when a large stone boulder weighing 14 tons was carved and placed at the local castle. Inscribed on the stone was a curse invoked by the Archbishop of Glasgow in 1525. The curse was originally created to put fear into groups of bandits who operated across the border on both sides. After the stone was placed in Carlisle in the year 2000, however, it suffered a series of disasters which some believe were biblical in nature. This included flooding, mass job losses, and foot and mouth disease killing livestock. So potent was the inscription's effect that the local council even discussed destroying the stone themselves, but the stone remains there to this day, as does the curse. Number two is Dargav. There is a strange cursed Russian town which has been dubbed the City of the Dead. Nearly 100 buildings populate the town, each of them looking like inviting homes. However, what makes them so terrifying is that each building contains the bodies of people who lived there or nearby hundreds of years ago. During the Middle Ages, tribesmen who lived in the town littered the buildings with bones and other remains. At some point, the settlement was abandoned for some unknown reason. Those who live in the region today refuse to go near Dargav. Stories tell of a curse which lies upon the place, dooming all to die soon after visiting the town. Its remoteness, the legend of the curse, and the human remains which still lie there support the idea that Dargav is not a place for the living and should be left to the dead. And number one is Colabaro. In southern Italy, you can find the most cursed town in the world. It's so cursed that those who live in the region refuse to use its name, and police officers refuse to stop people speeding on the road through it. They understand the need to get away from the town as fast as possible. Colobato is crumbling, but each year a celebration is held there to keep the evil at bay. It's said that a great malevolent energy lives there and was awoken during the 20th century by a witch 
who made the town her lair. Since then, freak accidents, landslides, and mysterious supernatural forces have all become too common there. But interestingly, the curse only affects visitors instead of residents. Any tourist or passerby can easily fall foul of this curse just by stepping foot in the town. For that reason, locals advise outsiders to stay away for their own good. So, the 10 most cursed towns on Earth. But what do you make of them? Do you believe in curses? And if so, or not, would you visit any of these places? I want to know if you're that brave. Leave a comment below. I'll see you next time.